Okay, Dr. B here. We're going to figure out how many moles of O2, oxygen gas, will react with Al to form 2.4 moles of aluminum oxide. So moles of oxygen, we don't know that right now, but we do know that we have 2.4 moles of this aluminum oxide here. And to solve these problems with moles and grams, we have to balance the equation. That's going to give us the ratio of coefficients. So if I put a 2 here, 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. So we balance the oxygens. 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 here. This is the balanced equation. So we have these coefficients, 4 to 3 to 2. That's the ratio. And that's going to let us solve the problem. So a quick way to do it, you could say we're looking at moles to moles, and we know the ratio. 3 to 2 is the ratio. We could say x over 3 equals 2.4 over 2. You saw for x, you figured out how many moles of oxygen react with this aluminum here to form 2.4 moles of aluminum oxide. So this works. This gives you the correct answer. Your teachers probably want you to use conversion factors, though. So let's take a look at that. You get the same answer, just a little different way to do it. So this is with conversion factors. We start with our 2.4 moles of aluminum oxide, and you can consider this to be over 1. That's kind of helpful. And this is our mole ratio, 3 moles of oxygen to 2 moles of aluminum oxide. That comes from these coefficients here. And really, that's the only time you use the coefficients from the balanced equation in this process. We have moles of aluminum oxide on the top and the bottom here. So when we multiply and divide, they cancel out. We're left with oxygen, moles of oxygen. So 2.4 times 3 over 2, 3.6 moles of oxygen. What's nice about this is you know you've done it correctly because your units cancel out. You're left with the desired unit. So that's probably the way you should be thinking about this. Again, we're using mole ratios to solve the problem. If you wanted to get your moles to grams, you could multiply by the molar mass of oxygen, and that would change this to grams. Or if you wanted liters, you can multiply by the constant 22.4. This is Dr. B looking at how many moles of oxygen react with aluminum to form 2.4 moles of aluminum oxide. Thanks for watching.